Well, most members of Congress and the Senate can agree that a second COVID-19 relief package for the U.S. is needed. But as the saying goes, the devil is in the details. U.S. Labor Secretary Eugene Scalia told News 19 earlier this week that in order to keep recovery on track, a reasonable and targeted bill is needed. Republicans introduced a $500 billion package on Tuesday that provides additional school aid, new money for vaccines and testing, and a second round of the Paycheck Protection Program, which benefits businesses that do not lay off their employees. Congressional Democrats have been uh, demanding extravagant spending. I have to wonder at some point whether they really want a bill to help the American people right now or whether they want to see things uh, go more slowly. Scalia, a member of the Trump administration, Democrats do support increased spending. They want it more for state and local governments. They also want additional jobless benefits, and they also want help for renters and homeowners. But many political analysts are skeptical of a deal. I wouldn't count on it. And as much as people are hurting and really need that money, we just haven't seen any movement in terms of the Hill negotiations. The closer we get to the election, the more difficult it is to see a bipartisan compromise because everything becomes so political. So it doesn't seem to me like we're really advancing the ball. The two sides have been dug in for weeks now. And the Republican plan is up for a vote tomorrow in the Senate.